this lace is ashy, this lace is ashy. Oh, oh, this lace needs salvation. good people and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Donisha, aka The D Renee, and I'm here with another wig review. Not the wig that's on my head. This one, if you are interested, is Jody by Janet Collection in the Natural Me line. Um, the, I'll put the link to this wig down below. But I'm stepping away from the Natural Me and going to a wig, I think it's called, now is the wig called Go Go? Or is it by Harlem? Let me tell you. Okay, this wig that we're gonna review today, as you can see by the description, is, um, the style is GL201. It is the Go Go Ultra HD Undetectable HD Lace Wig by Harlem 125. They have a lot of numbers in their name. So this is what the stock card looks like. I'll try to get it into focus. And it is a long, straight, middle part, kinky, um, straight wig. And it's supposed to have that ultra HD lace that can melt into any skin tone. So we're gonna see. It's not part of the what lace. It's so funny because I feel like, did I know that I bought this? Okay, I did. Okay, it's called Go Go. That's the name of the wig. Yeah, look, we finally made it though. And you're, you're already here because you know that this wig is called Go Go because it's in the title. But this is Go Go and I love, I got this wig because um, I think I've seen maybe one or two um, reviews on her. I got her in a 1B. And I love a good kinky straight wig. I love kinky straight texture for most, um, not most, for many African American women, women of African descent, people of African descent. When our hair is straightened in its natural state, if your natural state is curly, it has a more kinky texture. And I'm not saying everyone, because clearly I have black friends who have naturally silky hair when they straighten it. But many of us have a kinkier texture. And so that's what this um, wig is right? It's probably the softer side of Kinky. I've already taken it out of the packaging. She is fairly long. She already has a little bit of shedding and I have not worn this at all. I take them out of the package so that I don't have to do all that unraveling on camera. My first thoughts are, yeah, the lace is a little light. Uh, it's a little, it could use a little bit of Neutrogena. She's a little light, uh, a little on the ash ash side. She has one comb in the back, adjustable straps. And I will say in the part, it's it's a middle part, so it doesn't have you can't flip it or anything like that. But it has the combs in the front, which I appreciate because I was saying that like about Jody, as much as I love it, the combs are like right here. And so what do you what am I supposed to do with that? What am I gonna do with the combs up here? Okay, so I like if that if you want combs that they're in the front or that they're on the side, especially because I don't usually prefer to glue my wigs down. It really depends on the wig and if I'm styling it, maybe if I'm styling it in a half up, half down type of situation, I will absolutely do that. But for the most part, I don't like to um, glue them down. So we shall see what Gogo -Go is up to, right? Um, like I already said, it's the center part. Got her in a 1B. I'm trying to make sure I said everything about her. She's shedding a little bit already. I have not worn her. I have not cut the lace. So I'll go ahead and shift Jody off. Just sit over here, girlfriend. I will put you back on later. Just so we can do a first fit. Technically a second, because like I told you, I usually try these on. Uh, as soon as I get them out of the pack, just so I can see like how crazy they look and I can taper my reactions 
<laughs> for online. Okay. So, <laughs> woo, this lace is ashy. This lace is ashy. Whoa, whoa, this lace needs salvation. I can kind of see where they were talking. I mean, it's folded, so. <sighs> Lord. Y'all, I don't know why people be doing all this craziness with this lace. It's getting a little tangled. Woo! But yes, outside of the ashy lace, like, let's not even readjust my necklace. Outside of the ashy lace part, I like her. I love a good kinky straight. I said that before. Um, I have had numerous, numerous kinky straight wigs over the years. Um, I've had some, like, I've had, I had the first iteration of Nisha. Um, I think I've had, like, a shorter version of Nisha. So I've had all of those. And I've actually had some by different hair companies um, that are, kind of expensive. I think I probably had like a $300 kinky straight wig that was like a 360 at one point, at one point. So I really like when you can get these and they're not really expensive. Like I said, she's still she's continue I mean, she's a shedder. She she's letting it all hang out. Okay, go go go. She going. Um first impression, I like it. I love like a little straight ow. Like share that uh gig, but let me go ahead, cut the ash off, and come back. Oh wait, I y'all, I'm so crazy. I had some of hair tuck in here. Oh Jesus! But let me go ahead and cut some of this, cut this lace off, and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, go go. She's a go go. I like her. I, I I am not gonna be really upset with this wig. Um, few things. Lots of shedding. I'm now. That's that's quite a bit. And like I showed you before, I even started. Um. Before I even cut the lace, they were shedding. So clearly, I know that when I cut the lace, sometimes, especially with these units, when you're trying to cut really close to the edge, you will cut some of the, it's not a follicle, but you know what I mean, right? The roots or whatever, and you'll get some of that. So I finger combed and then I brushed out um, with my hair. No. What's Okay, let's try it. I finger comb. Then I use my uh, little petal brush. We used to call this a white girl brush growing up. Did y'all call these white girl brushes? I know it's kind of racist. It's not racist. It's different. We call these white girl brushes growing up. So I took my brush and I ran it through. Let me tell you, the texture of this hair is amazing. And if you're a person who has to have, I love a good side part. Specifically, a left side part. I love a good left side part. But I like a middle part, um, especially if it's straight. Like my other, the wig that I had on earlier was a middle part. But when it is a, um, a straight wig, I really love a middle part. So you, it's really good. You can bring her to the front. See, I'm barely 5'2", not quite. And she ends right under my boobs. My boobs on Monday, they're a little lower. <laughs> and I really like her. Now, big head friendly, would not say that. My head is fairly large, it's about 23 and a half inches. Um, and, you know, even if I'd say I wanted to tack her down or glue her down and I stretched and I got Ashanti's uh, sideburns from 04, they, it wouldn't meet. It wouldn't meet. So, but the the good thing about it is the style doesn't necessarily indicate that you would need to wear it back. Like, I don't see myself wearing this back. And let's say I did. I would make it looser here. And then, you know, you could pin it right there. And, you know, 
if you're like me, you could get rid of them sideburns if you want. Get you some edge control and slick them down and put a little curly Q or whatever. If you wanted to. But why would you, right? Wear it down. Wear it straight. Uh, so for the price, and let me remember what the price is uh, before I go sending y'all off. Um, I got this wig from Wig Types. Um, wig Types is actually one of my favorite wig companies. I used to be really big on Sam's Beauty, and I do like Sam's Beauty, but I also feel like a lot of people, uh, when they watch reviews, they'll default to Sam's Beauty. Sam's Beauty runs out, in my in my opinion, Sam's Beauty runs out quicker, and it'll look like they have the color, but then it'll say sold out. And they, it usually, sometimes I feel like it takes longer for them to replenish, but I have a, a few different go-to wig places that I like. Sam's Beauty is still up there. It's probably like my number two, but wig types right now is one for me. So Harlem 125 Go-Go Synthetic Hair HD Lace Wig in the style GL201. And on wig types, she retails for... $24.94. So for $25, come on. Even with that egregious amount of shedding, it was $25. Bucks. Um, so I really, again, I do love it. I mean, she's still shedding. Jesus. Uh, so I feel like maybe if I just run my hands through this a number of times, it'll stop. It'll stop, stop the madness. Um, but even with the shedding, and look, I'm like I'm literally pulling hair all off of me, y'all. It's crazy. It's twenty five dollars. So if I had to spend the three hundred dollars on this and she was shedding, I would be ready to uh, burn the place down. But for twenty five dollars, I like it. And ultimately, I just need to stop running my hands through it. <laughs> And just sit here. Uh, the Ashy Lace, not my favorite. I did have to flip the wig over. I went in with some of my Ben Nye uh, loose powder. I should probably get a pressed powder, but uh, in chestnut, I went in because that's the powder I use like uh, on my face. So it's the same color. I use that on the inside, especially around the edges to help that blend a little more, which is always makes me wish, why didn't you just have a brown lace to begin with? I get all types of women use these laces, laces, the laces. I get all types of women use them and you might be light skin and I understand all that. I really wish what companies would start doing is allow you to choose your lace color outside of like wig companies. I mean, the... Uh, Harlow 125s, the Janet Collections, the Otres, all of those. I wish they would let, the synthetic wig companies would allow you to choose your wig color. You let me choose a, a, a chestnut, right, to blend into my forehead. And then the other part is you have to remember, sometimes the lace is all one color, but the color of my scalp, because I'm not bald, is going to be slightly different than the rest of my hair. And I think, you know, we have to remember that part, right? Like I went in in my part with my LA Pro Choice concealer in the color Fawn. Um, my my parting is always a little lighter because it doesn't receive as much sun than the rest of my face and the rest of my body. If I were bald, it would start to even out in color. So you can use a color that is, you know, but I had to put the concealer in um, and blend that in to kind of make that uh, look a little better. I feel like I should pluck this. There's like weird hairs right here. Maybe I just moved to the wrong side. Um, that needs to get plugged. I got a little bit of concealer on the hair that I need to wipe down. But overall, would I recommend go, go? I say go, go, get her. <laughs> that was corny. But yes, go, go, get, go, go. Um, she's pretty cool. And for $25, you really cannot beat that. Um, I will put the link to the wig in the description box. Go give her a check out. Um, I did purchase this with my own monies, uh, but it was definitely worth it. If you have any questions about GoGo or any other wigs, any wigs that you would like to see me review, please 
uh, just say so in the comments at the bottom. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you feel so, so uh, that you want to see more videos from me in the future, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Don't miss out, girl. You don't want to miss it. This page is about to be popping, so don't miss out. Thank you, guys. See you next time.